hello dear friends good morning dear friends so we will make a cup of hot chocolate so we pour some milk so that's enough that should be enough Mm. I will take this time to chat with you. So you don't think you put that in Chinese you have such a, such a saying that uh, <clears throat> you are drink, you are drunk. It's usually not because of the wine that makes you drunk. Not the alcohol makes you drunk. Let me choose a piece of chocolate. I will use chocolate. Uh, This uh, cacao powder and cocoa, cocoa on cacao on board. So it's a kind of a specialty. And this one, let me see the percentage of it. Cacao. Ingredient cacao sans versant. So it's 100% cocoa, and it's a very strong one. And uh, it's a little bit too uh, bitter. It, yesterday I had it, I didn't upload the video because uh, I boiled the milk and the milk got uh, uh, boiled. It's a mess anyway. It's not a, a pleasant experience. But today I want to make it slow and enjoyable. So I have this one. And uh, yesterday's cocoa is a little bit too, um, too bitter. So I would like to put mainly one spoonful of cocoa and put some sweetening and I will use Nutella as a sweetening and prepare my blender. Actually, I will use this one. I never finished this. And we bought it for his cereal and they just do not eat that much. Maybe because, uh, I don't know, I put it, some cereal. This is sweet enough, already very sweet. And with pure cocoa, cocoa. And uh, if there is a chance, buy a better cocoa. Last time I tried some different brand, or just not as some less expensive, and uh, it's less enjoyable. So 
there's no point you need to to, to, to compromise on good food because this is only one cup or something for the day you will not have a lot for the day so and then you will um, blend it it's not yet boiling almost there and enclose the pickle and then you will boil I'm sorry, please excuse me, there will be, there will be strong noise for that, I'm sorry it's falling down, all this happening, I will put the video a little bit further so that you will not be bothered by the big noise. Not in a rush. It is supposed to be relaxing and enjoyable in the morning. Suddenly, one week has passed, and I have not yet done anything. It's quite scary. <laughs> and then we. Okay, stop the fire and blend it. I'm sorry, it will be quite noisy. So I put you a little bit further away so you can hear much less noise. Okay, so. They steam the coffee, they never uh, uh, re steam the coffee. When it is re steamed, it, the coffee becomes uh, it's hot, but it's just not right. Put into the chocolate bowl a bowl for chocolate. So, chocolate. Again, you must be, um, I got friend very offended by my uh, misspelling, okay. This one is, um, they thought not only myself, but also the manufacturer was so, so uh, they use very strong language. So uneducated, did you some strong word? No, it is not. This one is a. This one is a French spelling. Oh, it's a little bit sweeter. Not too much. Cafe is cafe and uh, 
coffee, coffee and uh, chocolate. Yes, that's a French spelling. It's not a, a misspelling. Hmm. Mm, still some rice. Pop rice. So yesterday I went to San Francisco for the parade. Just uh, saw some parade. I knew I would see some friends because um, before going I checked online and I saw on Facebook some friends from San Francisco and uh, I knew they must be, some of them must be in there and then I got one friend on my comments just uh, standing behind our family I, I did not know who you are but I just feel that this world is uh, becoming more accepting and accept people with different idea, different opinion. We are all normal. And uh, <clears throat> my point is actually not really about... Uh, I do not understand. Uh, a lot of things we do not understand. We do not understand other people's lifestyle and living habit. It does not matter. We need to open our heart and embrace the difference. And uh, <clears throat> especially when I have class, and so often time I see students are so different. We are all created different. And the difference make our society fun, interesting, and make our society rich, right? And uh, for one problem, uh, for one mass problem, we have different way of solving it. That's so much. However you educate one person, you teach them the way, how to do it, they must have their own ethnic or their own way of thinking, very unique way of approaching the problem. Some are more rational people and will solve the problem in a, in a step-by-step -step way. Some are more uh, calculative and very good at figuring out the number and starting from jumping into finding the trick number. Anyway, people are so different and um, <clears throat> in my class I see I, I, I see some students are suffering so much because they are different and um, in any school you, you see students some some has autism, some has Asperger, some cannot communicate with people but they are extremely smart, they have so much knowledge and, uh, and uh, Nobody deserves to be ignored, to be treated uh, with our own lens. They, they have their way of life. If you allow them to, to develop in their own way and uh, guide them the right way, not confine them, for example, they they have their own particular character. You do not chop out their character. You find a way to compromise them and uh, and get them the the best way to 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 develop themselves. Then everyone is happy, and uh, people who is different are usually. Uh, unique and uh, and very talented. Every one of us has something different. That is, on the one side, on the one hand is our weakness, on the other hand is our strength. 
I always say this, some people who do not communicate well with other people, especially in school, suffers. It may be because they are more of their own thinker. They are more of a thinker person. They use their own um, um, brain and process things in their own little world and try to figure out things in a much deeper, profound way. And people who like to talk in the class, there are always people who talk, 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 cannot, no matter boy or girl. There are some people that are more talkative. Maybe they will be a, a marketing people, a sales person, and, uh, and uh, make uh, a speech, a presenter, that kind of person. And some people just uh, kind of taking leadership, you, no matter you say it's bossy or what, they make a decision and decide things and let everything go his way or her way. And if things, there is obstacle on the way, they will try to find any way, anything to, to figure it out. It might be his strength of leadership or her strength of leadership. And some people always like to talk to teacher and da 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 has done this, has done that. Maybe that will be a very good investigator. <laughs> anyway, everyone is, is different. Everyone's weakness used in the right way, in the most appropriate way, and in the most controlled, managed way, can be this person's strengths. So, in my class, I just want to try and through seeing this, opening my heart to see, opening my eye, opening my heart to see that the world is becoming more and more um, more and more modern, more and more modern and developed and evoluted in a good way, um, accepting different people, different opinion, different way of life and uh, cherishing each life. Yeah. I'm talking too much, I'm sorry. I should enjoy my coffee before it is getting cold. And I know a lot of people do not like this skin. <laughs> I like it. It is the most condensed flavor part. We are all created different. We are all created different. This way, that way, in a very unique way, in a very uh, obvious way or in a very nuanced way but we are all different and uh, make the best of our difference make our living place a better place and uh, be strong enough and be be strong enough to be your own self. It is important and it's very valuable. You are valuable because of yourself, because you are you. I think there is a word here, 2012, freedom to be, freedom for you to be you, 
freedom for you to be you. That's a very good slogan. Happy every day. No, we have to say <coughs> hello to our backyard before we say bye bye, right? And uh, let's take a look at the backyard. The beautiful flower, rose. Yes, one friend suggests. Um, Fuchsia. I didn't find a bleeding heart, so I didn't bother to ask uh, the nursery people because if I do not find it, they just do not have have to wait or something. But fuchsia is such a beautiful flower. Look at it, and it goes well with this blue. We were thinking of something yellow, and if there's no yellow, yellow makes contrast, but uh, this blue and with this a little bit bluish, purplish color goes well also. Everything natural is good. Nothing can be better than, than being natural and true to itself. So, and we planted yesterday afternoon and it recovered immediately. To my surprise, usually flower and plants takes a couple of days to get uh, comfortable to the new place. And this one also, this one is not yet totally. We bought it not so, not so strong. We like this color and, uh, and we are sure they will have a good life in our family. So no matter what condition it is in, she is in, she will have a, a good future in our family. And this one also, I like this very strong color also. So we have three unique, different color. Too much sunshine, you cannot see clearly. Oh, what is? Did you hear the bird? And I want to show you our, our grapes, Hezan. Did you see? And these are Muska, I think. They are, they are small. It is not yet totally right, but uh, when it is grow big, still it's uh, small. There are so many, I didn't see. Last year there was almost nothing. You see behind? See behind that leaf? Did you see? And that? And so many, a lot of grapes. And here, and here, and here, here, here. That flower suffers a little bit. Maybe we need to move it out. And this tree is a little bit too much, the leaf. We need to trim it. It uh, requires a haircut. It's too low already. Maybe more colors here along this edge. We are thinking of uh, planting some uh, bulb or other flowers. And this one is just starting, not yet coming out much, but will come out soon. And that one is. See my finger point? That's uh, rhubarb. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, we have uh, uh, tried some jam oh, with it. It's very good. A little bit sour and sweet and sour. Make it just wonderful. Okay, enjoy.
every day. I need to do a staging here. Very soon I have some flowers.